Um, in Kenya, we have signed from 2009 uh, financial sector regulators memorandum of understanding that sort of deals with encompassing and ensuring that there is no information arbitrage between all the financial sector regulators. And this is something that we have, um, we are extremely proud of. And in fact, a lot of our other uh, jurisdictions in other countries have actually looked at um, how successful that model is. And actually, we have been able to share our experience with that. But what the objective of that was to ensure that we we do not um, allow information arbitrage, and also to ensure that there is no regulatory fatigue of some of our intermediaries mm -hmm. who are really, um, you know, regulated by all the various um, regulators. So Kenya welcomes new initiatives that have been progressed by the AMEC Secretariat. We we are extremely pleased even by the cooperation, and the fact that the AMEC Secretariat has really been updating us a lot. Um, especially, I look forward every year, every quarter, to receive the AME quarterly uh, newsletter. Uh, it has been useful for CMA Kenya in benchmarking our capital markets reform agenda against other AMIC members, as well as just ensuring that we update ourselves on recent trends in this market. The recent developments across the globe, um, especially with the global crisis, and then subsequent we've had the Eurozone crisis, has shifted the focus a lot on regulators from the aggregate market perspective. And the focus now has been about financial stability. So it is important to address these risks in the financial sector and even to see how this impact on us in the AMEC region. Uh, because I, I remember when we had the 208 crisis and even now with the Eurozone, and I remember recently uh, IMF was um, in a few countries in Africa um, as well as the Middle East uh, just trying to see the impact of the Eurozone. There, we can't get away from that, but I think it's the issue is how do we mitigate against these risks or how do we learn from each other. So regional cooperation is therefore crucial in addressing financial sector stability through all these initiatives of information sharing, capacity building, and public awareness.